Hey folks, how are you and your electrical devices doing? Still having those wire heaters? Still having those wire heaters? Still having those wire heaters? The answer to your folly is superconductivity. Before superconductivity, what is conductivity? Conductivity is nothing but the amount of freedom you accord to a charge flowing through a substance. But this freedom isn't absolute. As you can see, your wire heats up and your node 7 explodes. This is due to an evil called resistance. Resistance is omnipresent and is present in small though appreciable amounts in even the best of conductors like copper and silver. This property decreases with temperature but is not vanquished by most of the conductors like copper and silver at even the lowest temperature possible. Imagine you're driving through the city in your car in non-peak hours in one situation and in peak hours in another situation. You end up consuming less fuel in the non-peak hours due to the lesser traffic. Now let us imagine all those vehicles in the traffic as protons and your car as the electronic charge. When there is lesser traffic, you encounter lesser protons and as a result, lose out lesser fuel and lesser energy. Superconductivity is a state of zero resistance. This state can be achieved in substances like mercury, tin, antimony, aluminium and YBCOs that is deuterium barium copper oxides by cooling them beyond a temperature called the critical temperature. But the anomalous properties of superconductors do not end here. They seem to despise any magnetic field that comes near them and do not let them enter and bend their magnetic field as a result. This is called the Meissner's effect. What progresses really fast? We have progressed from witnessing superconductivity in mercury at minus 269 degrees Celsius to discovering superconductivity in hydrogen sulfide at minus 70 degrees Celsius. We may soon witness room temperature superconductors. The application of superconductors range from magnetic levitation used in maglev trains, MRI machines and particle accelerators. But the future potential of these is quite mind-boggling. They can be used to create a perfectly efficient way to transmit energy, smaller devices and efficient transformers. This might well be a revolution in human history.